and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. Today, I'm gonna be going over to get three 95 overalls for super cheap. I've had this method before on the channel. I've done it for quite a few other promos, as well as this one. But they did just introduce a brand new set to do it with. And guys, this is my favorite type of set in Madden year round. The only reason I haven't done this one yet is because I'm kind of low on on the coinage as of late. But I definitely do have to get it done, considering the benefits that come with doing this set. Now guys, I'm very excited to go over this. Like I said, this is always my favorite thing in Madden. I, if you guys are the lords of the channel, you guys already know. And by the way, sorry for the voice. I am kind of sick right now, so my voice could cut in and out at any moment. I'm not crack. My voice is not cracking, but it's definitely something's going on with it. Hopefully, I can get through all three videos before I inevitably lose this voice. I think I'm going to lose it in the near future. Now, guys, before we get to the video, remember. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that noti bell, boys. We just hit 16k. Thank you so much. We're already at almost 16.2k. You got I me mean 16, yeah, 16.2k. You guys are killing it. Can we get to 17k by the end of the week? And hopefully, well, the goal for this Madden is to get to about 25k by the end of the time this Madden's over. At the rate you guys are going right now, we should easily get to that. So make sure you guys keep spamming it. Come join the family. Comment down below. The comment sections are alive and well. Again, I'm answering all my comments because there's no more giveaway spam from comments. And guys, make sure to like the video, guys. You guys went crazy with the like button yesterday. I'd greatly appreciate that if you could spend the like button. You guys killed it. Remember, best way to show support is always to like the video. Nothing's better than posting this video and seeing hundreds of likes instantly. Let's see if we can break a like record. Let's keep it going. Now, let's get over to the sets. <coughs> Excuse me. So, going over to the Ghost of Madden set. There's three new sets they added yesterday. They added the Nick Bosa set, the Julio Jones set, and the Patrick Willis set. Now, you could probably do it with all three of them, but for this one, I'm going to focus on the Ghost of Madden Pass Patrick Willis set. Now, Patrick Willis at this very moment goes to around 600k. Remember, there is variation. You could go for 550, you could go for 600, but, the, but remember, the prices will be ratioed. So, although when you see this video, Patrick Willis might go for 550, these three cards probably went down in value too, so it kind of ratios itself out, so always remember that. So, the way this method initially works, exchange Ghost, Marvin Harrison, Kevin Maway, and Julius Randle. John Randall, sorry, not Julius Randall, John Randall to get 96 overall Patrick Willis, his power up item, and the required players back in that. And yes, you do get all three, do not tell me you get one. The zero chill sets, you get one. Everyone's always like, no, you get one. No, you get three for these. I've done them. The other one, you get one. The Ghost of Madden, you get all three back. So Marvin Harrison's a 95, Maway's a 95, as well as John Randall. And when you do the set, you do get back Patrick Willis. Now, this set isn't too complex, it's pretty simplistic. Now, there's three ways to look at this one way you end up keeping willis one way you end up keeping the three players one way you do a little bit of both now i personally always recommend keeping the three players or keeping the two players but never keeping the master because that is how you end up making this method work so for marvin harrison you go into this he is 294k you could probably snipe him for around like 285 290 so let's get the calculator out and start adding up the math of what the like the cost will be for this whole thing so let's go over about 285 because you have to remember when it gets a little bit later in the day, because it's early, early morning right now, like real early, the auction's a little bit dense. I always gotta account for that because my videos won't be too accurate unless I account for what prices will be. Kevin Maway's 339 again. You can probably get it for about 320 because prices will be down a little bit later, as well as every day as it goes by, prices should come down. So this should help you guys a little bit as you watch later. And then John Randall is going for 338. So I'll go again like 320. Now it appears like people really don't want the Marvin Harrison. And in my opinion, Marvin Harrison is kind of a replica of Tory Holt. He's really good, but if you have Tory Holt already, he's kind of similar. So it's going to cost you 300, 925,000 coins to do this set. 925,000 coins. Now, remember, you get back Patrick Willis' power-up item, as well as Patrick Willis and these three cards back. Now, so now you have a 96 overall, 395 overalls, and power-up for 925,000 coins. So the first method, and the one that I usually abide by, is you have the three nats back now, which I did for the other one, which is I did the big set last time. Now you're going to end up with three of them. Now you could do this. This is my first one that I abide by. <laughs> Patrick Willis currently goes for quite a quite a few amount of coins here. So I'm going to go over to the auction block and show you guys his exact pricing and kind of show you guys how it works and initially what you can do. Now remember, this is if you buy them for their current prices. You could also, if you snipe them out, like you get Marvin Harrison for like 270, you know, it's like 310. If you snipe them out well enough, you can save a lot of coins, but that implies that you're going to actually be willing to snipe. If you guys are just buying them at face value, I'll show you guys right now. So you go over to Willis program ghost of madden past and that should filter out perfectly so it's your 589 i remember you don't have to sell them you could sell them in the early mornings or late at night so you probably sell them for around like 600k as of now so in that with the way that works is 
after reduction, you'll probably end up with about 540,000 coins at this current moment. And remember, if he goes down to like 550, the other cards will also go down with him. So it kind of evens out any way you look at it. So 540,000 coins. So you end up with 385,000. So you take the 925,000 cost to do the set and then you sell Patrick Willis. So it costs you 385,000 coins to do the set. Now remember, if you snipe things out a little bit more, I gave you the regular values. And like, like I said, like they will be down to that price more than likely as the day goes on. If you set them out for like 300K, 300K and 270, you end up spending about 870K in relation. So you can easily make this down to like 320, 325K. So I say that this ranges from about 325K to 385K and you get for three 95 overalls. Now take that into consideration. You might think 385K to 325K is a lot, but you're getting 395 overalls. Let me show you guys what the, the current running rate is of a 95 overall. A current 95 overall goes for about 285,000 coins. So remember that. 285,000 coins for a Ghost of Madden 95 overall player. So at the current moment, if you were sniped them out, you would have spent 325. So the difference between buying one 95 overall for 285k and the difference between buying one for 325k is 40,000 coins. So for an upcharge of 40,000 coins, you got three more 95 overalls. So pretty much, in my opinion, if you're ever gonna buy one of these cards, the best thing to do is do the set. Like if you're like, okay, I'm gonna power up Michael Strahan. Perfect, go do the set. Why? Because for an extra 4200k, you're getting three of them. If you're gonna, if you're gonna power up anyways. Or if you're like, I want to power Bo Jackson Mel Blunt. Let's say you do Bo Jackson Mel Blunt separately. You're going to pay 300k, 300k, 600k, plus powering them up. Everything, you're probably going to spend upwards of 600k for those two. You could have spent 350k for all three. You could actually save half the money. And you, know, you guys understand what I'm saying? And so if you're ever going to buy one, always do the set. If you're going to buy two and you don't do the set, and you're going to power them up, which means they're on your team, you're probably dumb at that point. Because like I said, if you buy two of them separately, it will be 600k plus powering them up when in, in reality you could just do the set and you can just get it for about 300 to 400k for three of them it's just a no-brainer now the second one if you really want to save some coins you could always quick sell one of them let's say you got there was kevin away there was marvin harrison and there was john ray let's say you don't want marvin harrison you can, you can quick sell marvin harrison marvin harrison will leave you with about 5,000 and like 40 kindling back after his nat resale price oh uh, when you quick sell them now you can take the 5,000 and if you really want, you can almost pretty much upcharge it to a 93 Ghost of Madden Future. Just about. So you can pretty much buy one of these. So once you buy one of these, these cards go for about, I'd say, in the 130 range, right? I believe they go in about the 130 range, if, I, if I'm not wrong. So let's say you take that 130k. I mean, I think that's if you pull a bad one. I think one of them, like Devin Bush, goes for a little bit more expensive. Let's go check that. Actually, that could be 200. Let's, let's go check that out real quick. Let's go over to Quality. Go to go. I should just go to Ghost of Madden Future. That's just that will cover it. Ghost of Madden Future. Go for about yeah, 140k. So about 150k right now. So let's say you spend 300. Let's go with a median 350k. It costs you to do the set overall. And you sold Patrick Willis. Right now you have all three. You don't want shot. You don't want Marvin Harrison. Now you can quick sell Marvin Harrison, buy that pack, and you can do this set. You do that when you get one of these. You get John. Uh, you gotta say you get one of them like 150k. After reduction, you get back 135k. So 350,000 minus 135k is 215k so essentially you got two 93 overall 95 overalls for 215k now if you don't want to if you want like all of them keep them all but this is for people who are like oh, i really want to do that step i don't like marvin harrison or john randall then if you really don't like if you only really wanted let's say you only only wanted the middle guy which was kevin away you can now do, you can now quick sell Marvin Harrison, you can quick sell John Randall, and you end up with 10,000. You can do this set almost twice. Buy a little extra candle, you can do this set twice. Now you do it again, you get minus 100, another 135,000. Essentially, you spent now 80,000 coins. If you subtract 35,000, 350,000 from the two guys that you sold and bought these with, you end up subtracting a total of about 170,000, which leaves you with about 80,000 coins total. So for 80,000 coins total, you just got yourself a Kevin away. I'm telling you guys, this method is foolproof. It is proven. I do it every year. It's my favorite method. Yeah, he's Nat, but 80K for a Nat kept him away. That's a steal. That is that is highway robbery. I'm telling you guys, if you guys follow through with this all the way, you guys are going to be in love with this. This is why every every new promo, the first thing I do, I don't check the auction. I don't check the store. I go right to sets. I want to see if there's something I can take advantage of. And this is always one of them. And the beauty of the set is that the more people that try to take advantage of it and they start selling them and things start getting cheaper, everything gets cheaper, right? So like, let's say people start, oh, I love this set. I'm start doing it more. Willis's price will go down. 
and initially the players for Will's set will go up, but in like a day or two, they'll come back down. And then Will's will be, everyone's just down. So it's like, it's always in a ratio. Now me making this video might kill it for a little bit. That's why I said like, just wait a little bit, do always, and always check my math because there's a good chance that after I make this video, a lot of people do it and the prices change a little bit. So make sure you check in and make sure it still makes sense for you at that time. It will always make sense, but maybe not that same time. Maybe like in seven hours, maybe the next day when people cool off it a little bit, depending on how well this video ends up doing, probably depends on the fate of the market for that aspect. Now guys, this is about it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell, boys. If you love tips like these and you check out the channel every day, hit that subscribe button, boys. Can we get to our goal of 17K by the end of the week, as well as 25K by the end of Madden 20? We're, we're grinding out there. I think we're at a pace to do it. We still have like four to five more months of prime Madden time, uh, three to four more months of prime Madden time before things really start to slow down. And guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to smash the like button. Like I said, the best way to show sports, always like the video. It helps the video do tremendous in, in everything it, it really does so thank you guys for all the people who come out every day and know the gang and like the video and as well as can you guys always make sure you comment i love to interact with you guys the month of december was tougher with holidays and with all the comments i was getting from giveaways but now that we're back and we're back to nor normalcy you guys can come comment down below we could all chat as we used to but guys it's better for the video thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace